think they went through with the disc two days ago. And yesterday I saw the disc just sitting in the back, so I don't know if something broke down maybe. Anyway. Oh, I hope this isn't too boring for you, but at least over here the wind's not so bad. I could probably actually hear me talking now. She's wanting to go much faster than I'm really up to right now. Normally she stays closer to me, but she must be smelling a, I don't know, rabbit box or knows. I don't know what that was that jumped over from the pond to the reeds or the trees there up on the left up around that corner like. That was about a week ago. And with the leaves falling and things withering, I can see more along the fence row now. Book tree. I guess I'm walking somewhat in the field because they kind of do that over here in the path. The garden here. That'll make her happy. New sense. I should have added that the sense. Oh, not that, that sense, not that, that sense, not that, that sense. The keys are still around here. You need to slow down just a little bit, puppy. They kind of get a one track or one train mind kind of thing when they catch a, a smell or so. Okay, here she goes pulling me out. Normally I would just stop and say, nope. Oh, look. Change the direction a little bit. Oh, she's slowing down. It might be getting confusing more than one scent or something. Anyway, so there we go. And this is where the, uh, oh, the disc is sitting. When I saw it last, they've come and got it since then. All right, so there's the pond. The leaves aren't quite as scattered as they were. You can actually see more water today. My hood starts to fall forward. I'm not careful, it'll go over my eyes a little bit as it drapes over my forehead. I really need it not to do that. So, it's really quite beautiful, colorful. There we go. There we go. I'm better. A little bit more look at the pond here. If we're lucky, we'll pick up some of the birds flying back and forth. No promises when I try to get them out of the pond. never. I kind of gave up on that. When I do, they're so small. They just look like a fly darting across the screen sometimes. And it does pay to keep an eye on the ground when it starts to warm up until like September again because it might be snakes. Walnut, walnut, walnut. Walnut. Come on. Oh. 
not chasing anything here. Kind of just here for the pond. Here for the pond. I guess if there was enough walnuts, I'd be here to pick up walnuts, right? I just figured there's so few. Maybe just leave those for the critters. Looks like a little brush pile started there. Don't get no ideas. We're not doing that. Come on. Nope. Down this side over this way. Get a better look at the hill going down behind the pond. I'm not sure if you can see that to that. I try to show that every now and then. So that's like where the creek used to flow down through there, I think. That area. We first moved here back in the 80s. It was interesting because, you know, back in the old days, like 50s or whatever, people used to just take their junk and trash back into their back 40 or whatever and dump it. So there were some interesting things back there years ago. We don't walk around. We used to walk like where the creek bed ran and uh, explore, but there's a trappers or traps back along that way, so we didn't know it one day. The mother-in-law said something about it, like, don't be walking the kids back there, might be traps. And I'm like, now's a good time to tell me after we've done it three times this summer. I see we've done 16 minutes already. That seems to work fast. Slow while you're doing it. And here, I think a farm implement of some sort. Like, maybe, I don't know. There's a track. I just go by. I just hear it, but I don't see anything. See the trees. I'm forgetting to let you see some of the. See, they're mostly empty branches now. It won't be long. There are still some that are full, or more full, but there's quite a few. There. Empty, going to be empty in the next week. And it only took two or three days to triple the amount I swept up off the porch the other day. Compared to the, what, just one or two days before that? Thing about it, you do have to walk where you step, what you step on. You don't step roll on an ankle. Stretching my neck back, not moving the phone up doesn't help. Huh, I need to remember to when I put my head back, I gotta put that phone up there too. It doesn't help to see anything if I don't. This is like right at eye level here. And that's how I get in the ruts. But we just sidestep. Which side do you want, Fluffy? I need to know which direction you want to go. No, I'm not. You hit me. There's an oak that hasn't turned too much yet. Let's get a little closer. That's a mighty oak. Yeah. Let's see, still can't see the top. There we go, I think. Almost. 
Not quite. 